Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today I'm doing a full face of first impressions. This is gonna be strictly first impressions with stuff that I have had in my collection for a while, not anything too recently new, I don't think. Uh, but I came up with this look, and I'm not gonna lie, I had to trust the process because in the beginning I was like, yeah, I don't know, but I feel like my face came together I love how this looks, but I want you to know what products I use. So you got to stay tuned and keep on watching. But before we start the video, if you're new, please hit that subscribe button. Join the family. I do a lot of hair, nails, makeup, shopping, what else? Fitness. We do everything related to beauty on this channel. So I hope you decide to join the family. I won't keep you waiting. I'm actually going to start off showing you guys some of the stuff that I pulled my, from my stash and the whole process with some of my storage and then we'll get into the look but if you want to see it stay tuned and keep on watching all right so let's start off doing a little shop my stash i haven't done one of these in a while i want to just pull some products this is like stuff that I've hauled that I haven't tried yet. These are where my makeup is stored. This, this, and this is makeup. Yeah, and then this is makeup. This is more decorative, although there is some stuff I haven't tried. Um, I don't know if you're new to my channel, then you don't know this, but what I usually do is if I have not tried something yet, I leave it in the box. So that way I know because it was just taking up too much space trying to, except for my Pat McGrath, I just keep the boxes. Um, it was just taking up too much space to try to keep everything separate. Like I had a this, like the last two drawers here were like my drawers of shame where I kept stuff that, <laughs> palettes, not stuff, palettes that I hadn't filmed yet. But anyway, so this is where I keep it now. Um, this is stuff I haven't filmed with yet, including this palette. You know I bought that for the greens. But so right now, I'm just going to go through. Do I want to do drawers first? Let's have a look. See, we're going to save palettes for last just because, I don't know, that always takes me the longest. So right here is foundation, primer, and concealer. So we're just going to start pulling from here. Anything I haven't worn yet or tried, I think I'm going to try to do high end, but we will see. So as I pick, I'm just going to throw them right here in this little bin, and that's what we're going to use to film with. So for primer, in the boxes, this is not new, that is a backup. This is new, so we're going to go ahead and try that. I don't think I have anything drugstore that is new, so... Although, I don't remember if I used this or not. You know what? Let's see. I'm going to pull drugstore and high end and see what I end up making a face with. Okay, foundation. I have used this before. That's a primer. Um, I have not used this. Let's try this. Is there anything else? I need to check the shade of this to see if it will even work. Um, I am 90% sure I do not have a new drugstore foundation. So I think I've done a video with this. I'm pretty sure I have way back when. Um, so yeah, I don't want this part to be too long. For primer... Let's go, I have not used this yet, so we're going to pull this. I don't think I have anything concealer. Have I used this? Hmm, that looks really light though. Well, let's figure out if we're going to use it, because it also might just get trashed. But all this other stuff I have used, so... Nothing new to see here. I'm pretty proud of myself. I haven't been buying a lot of makeup lately. So I've been spending my money on shoes. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's why that's that. This drawer is like backups. I ain't even gonna lie. It's stuff that I've tried and backups. So I don't think there's anything in here that I want to open right now. But we may come back to it if I need a filler. 
Since this is mostly eyeshadow palettes, we're gonna come to that last. This drawer, oh, that's palettes. Um, this drawer is powders and highlighters and some more extras, powders, maybe a backup or two. Um, that's a, oh, do I want to use that? Primed and poreless powder. I haven't used that in forever because I feel like this you can use under your makeup, but maybe we're going to pull this because I'm using a skin tint, so I might need it. So highlighter is there anything in a box keska say no not that one let's just go with this melt Ooh, she's gold let's try this we'll put this but then we'll also grab this rare beauty one just to see setting powders i don't think i have anything still in the box Nakia Joy. You know, I, this is one of my favorites, and I don't know that I've used the pressed one, so let's use that. This drawer down here is blush and bronzer. What do we have still in the box? Bronzer. I have not used this iconic London one. I don't think I have any other drugstore ones. I, I guess we're mixing brands today. Um blush I don't think I have anything oh NARS Taj Mahal let's pull that um what else do we have here you know I don't think I ever use this and I've heard these go bad after like pretty quick so let's grab that Let's look in here real quick because I completely forgot about this. Okay, these are for sure I have not worn, so I don't know why I didn't start here. Um, I'm probably going to take the other stuff out since I know this is in here. This is a lip color. Um, what else do we have? Lip stain. I think this is going to be too dark. Powder wise, I think this might be too, but let's grab it. L'Oreal. I don't know what this is. My Juvia's Place, y'all can never. This is a flower. Do I wear this? I know she is too dark for me right now. I don't remember. I feel like I wore this. Oh, yes. Another highlighter? Yes. Okay. Let's see what's in here. Oh, the drugstore stuff. Okay. Um. Oh, you know what? Yep, we're going to try this. I remember this. Hold on. I'm going to have to fix this basket. Because <laughs> now I have too much stuff in here. We're not doing max coverage today. <sighs> if I wouldn't have moisturized my face already, I would have used this primer. Tom Ford Eyeshadow Quad. I remember this is the neutral one. Oh, but I have not used this yet. Ooh, do we want to do green today? I'll pick an eyeshadow palette, but y'all get the gist. Let's go ahead and start. So we shopped my stash and we are just going to do, this is basically going to be like a first impressions because I have a lot of stuff I have not used yet. So we're going to start off with the Smashbox lid primer. This is the photo finish lid primer in the shade medium. This kind of looks like a concealer, so I'm just like, okay, girl, whatever. But let's see if it's like primer, consistency, or concealer. Because this is in a shade, so it's supposed to give you some coverage to help even everything out. I don't know how well it works as a primer. It's definitely thinner than a concealer, so not a concealer. Now, I had a couple options. So I have this... Derma Blend Primer. This is their Pore Saver Matte Makeup Primer. Yeah, we're gonna use this. I was gonna, I was thinking about using a glowy primer underneath, but I'm using a different foundation, so probably not. Is this open? She is not opened yet. This is what it looks like, just that cute little tube. I love these for travel. The only other thing that I've tried from Derma Blend is their, um, setting powder i haven't tried anything else from that brand y'all let me know if they have any other good products i know they have face products like complexion stuff but i feel like ooh. so this kind of feels silicone-y but dry i don't know like velvet 
That's what I'll say. Um, hmm. I like how this feels. It feels like my makeup's just going to glide over it and like it went into my skin really, really easy, but it is dry. Like you do not have to wait for this to dry down. Interesting. It almost feels kind of like a powder. Hmm. We're going to go to eyes first and I forgot I got this palette, but this is the Tom Ford Quad in Forbidden Pink. I wanted to do something neutral um, and then I remembered I got this and as you can see she has, let me take this stupid top thing off, she has only been swatched. I haven't used her. I wonder if this top shade could be used as a transition shade. I have a fluffy brush, see if that's going to work at all. It's picking up a little bit. I might need something a little more dense or that might just be the shade of it, which in that case, I'm gonna have to go in with something else. But I definitely wanted to do a kind of neutral look today. Not too much color, just something put together and cute, but not overdoing it. I'm gonna get a brush that's a little denser I'm like really digging this in this shade and see. Mm, it is looking great. I ain't gonna lie y'all, 90% of the time when I get Tom Ford stuff, it's more just cause I get it. Yeah, this shade is like super light and super gray. So let's go with a bronzer shade. That is always an easy way to have a transition shade. This is the Iconic London Bronzer in the shade, where's the shade? Deep Bronze, that is what she looks like. I don't think this is gonna do anything. I thought this was darker than that. It'll warm it up a little bit. So I guess I can go to the darker shade and see if I can, cause when I, it's coming off on the towel, I don't know. Let's try this dark brown shade right here and see if I can get that to Okay, that one's showing. I guess that's just that other shade. Like it's more of a, not for, oops, wrong shadow. Um, Not for us shade. You know, I feel like I'm kind of at the point with Tom Ford shadows where I don't really know unless it's just a color story that I can't pass up. And even then I probably still won't. I don't know that I want to buy them anymore. Like I was collecting them from the cosmetics company store just because of how much of a discount I was getting. But like what's happening right now, this is not, if it wasn't Tom Ford, I would be like, oh, this is trash. I don't know why I bought it. I'm not going to wear this. You know what I'm saying? You know, how sometimes you justify stuff for the price that you paid or for the brand or whatever. Like I like my eyeshadows to punch me in the face and I want to spend forever blending them out versus forever trying to build them up. All right, so I just put that shade all over my lid. I try to try to build it up a little bit more in the crease to get it as dark as I could get it, but that's as dark as it's gonna get. So we're gonna mix these two shimmer shades just so I can use both of them, but y'all. It's pretty in the palette, but I just, I don't feel like this is doing enough for me. If you ever paid $90, if I would have paid $90 for this, I'll be pissed off. So I'm going to take the kind of bronzish shade here and just put that. I don't know if I'm doing like a halo eye or what's happening at this point. Kind of halo-ish, I guess. I always end up like adjusting some stuff towards the end, depending on how my makeup looks. But this looks like it's getting hard panned already, like just from swatches. That's kind of crazy to me. And I'm gonna flip my brush and use the other side to get some of this shade up here. These don't have names or anything on them. I'm just gonna pop that in the center. Now you see, these little shimmer shades are trying to save the palette. I ain't gonna get rid of it. Definitely not doing that, but I do feel a little disappointed that 
those other shades didn't pack more of a punch. First impression, I am not impressed. So we'll go through and finish the eyes in a bit. We're gonna move on to the face and part of me kind of wants to use, I thought I put it in here and I guess I did not. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and move into the face. I'm gonna use the Smashbox Always On Skin Balancing Foundation. This is in the shade M20N. I also picked this up from the Cosmetics Company store. And this is a lighter shade, so she should be good for now. I do have a darker shade as well. And it's funny because I picked this one up and I was like, this is my perfect everyday shade. And then I went a little while later and I picked up a shade that is too dark because Barbara likes her foundations dark. And I was like, oh, this is my, this looks so light. Oh, just go with it, sweetheart. Just go with it. Because if this oxidizes at all, I'm sure it's fine. But y'all know me. I cannot stop. <laughs> y'all. Here's my thing with foundations, my shade. I feel like they make me look ashy. I don't know. I have like a golden neutral undertone. But if it's too neutral, then I feel like it ends up almost looking gray. And I don't like it. And that is the reason why I pick my foundations darker. And then I can just lighten them with concealer. But this just, now I would mix this with the other one. I don't normally like mixing foundations, but shades, if I can mix the same foundation, I have two shades of it, I will do that. But this just does, this looks gray to me. <laughs> I'm gonna grab the other shade. Y'all, look at, <laughs> you cannot tell me that's my shade. And if it is, then I don't care. I will never wear my shade and foundation because that just does not look good to me at all. So this is the other shade that I have. Clearly she is darker. This is in D10W. Now y'all see why I always talk about getting sun because in general, I just feel like Darker skin looks healthier and golden and just more even. But look at the difference already. That just looks so much better. Oh, so much better. Girl, you was looking casket ready. We're not doing that. We're never going to do that. So that other shade will be a mix in for some other stuff because that is why I don't pick my skin tone in anything but I like how this looks I feel like it still looks like skin it doesn't feel heavy on my face it has really good coverage but it's not even with me having that matte primer on it doesn't look like super matte for concealer we're using the Colfi main match concealer this one is in cherry pick i don't think i've tried this i think i've only swatched it um you know this also looks a bit golden compared to what i normally wear but i'm gonna do my forehead first and i'm kind of like stirring it around in the component i'm gonna do my forehead blend it out and then put some powder do you see how that's applying patchy like that? I can't even blame it on the concealer because I've had this sitting for so long. But it doesn't look like it should be like that in the tube because there's no separation. So that's a little weird. But it's spreading okay. She just looks really golden. But I like even with the golden shade, it is brightening. But it's not too, too bright. Always blend out the edges. And then for powder, I'm using the Nakia Joy Cosmetics Velvet Finishing Pressed Powder. I'm going to take a red, regular powder brush because I really want to get this. Oh, that is very... It's pressed, but it's loose. Set this forehead. And I pull back... <laughs> I pull my skin back to make sure like it doesn't crease in the wrinkles. I learned that god bless the truth from when i would do wigs first and then do my makeup 
I'd be like, man, my forehead looks so good, but it would be because the wig was pulling my scalp back. So now I'm like, oh, we're not doing Botox yet. So in the meantime, we're just gonna have to deal with the fact that this forehead is gonna crease. I don't know if they have other products or if they just came out with the concealer. Y'all let me know if you've tried this brand. I got this from Sephora. Going with my powder on a brush first. Try to get under here before it starts creasing. This is literally kicking up so much. I would love to travel with this because I like traveling with a loose uh, press powder more than a loose. But as much as this is making a mess, I'm scared it would like break in transit. I love this powder though. Like talk about blurring. Look at that. So this is the complexion so far. That foundation looks much better now that I darkened it up. That other shade looked like I was sick. Mm -mm. Okay, so for, I don't know if I should have used this first. For my contour, I have this Ace Beauté. This is that sculpting palette. If you remember from my haul, I remember being like, I don't know if I'm gonna like this because it was super emollient, but I hadn't tried it yet. So we're gonna start with this one, this one. Okay, I see it. I probably feel like I should have pinched my brush, but I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side and then do it a little more concentrated where I want it. I think that's actually a really good shade. And I don't feel like I'm having any issues putting it on over my powder. I'm gonna go in that darker shade. We're gonna do that on the forehead and see. Oof, yeah, she's dark. So I'm glad I did not try to put that on my face. But even still, the way that blends out, like I was worried that wasn't gonna look good, but it just blends out so easy. Okay, I do feel like that one looks more like a contour than a bronzer shade, but it is darker. So I'm gonna stick a little tiny bit right in this hollow. Yeah, you can definitely tell that is darker. But I don't feel like it's going on patchy or anything like that. Next for blush, I have this Dior blush. And I kind of want to use this. But I also have this Natasha Denona paint. Puff paint? I feel like these things literally said they had like a six month. Oh Lord, I cannot see that at all. 12 month shelf life, but I don't remember using it. Please don't be crazy, please don't be crazy. That definitely was more pigment than I thought it was. I feel like when I first bought this, I for some reason remember that I didn't think they were that pigmented, but now that is not the case because she has some pigment. And then I'm gonna take my powder brush and I'm gonna go back in my powder a little bit and just, I always go right back in the front to kind of just help that blend a little better because I always bring my blush too far in front purposely, but then I blend it out like this. For highlighter, I was gonna use a powder highlighter, but then I found a liquid one that I haven't used yet. And this is the Juvia's Place Nubian Glow Liquid Luminizer. Ooh, okay, Ivory Light. She looks champagne, thank goodness, not like silver-ish. Is she open? She ain't even open. Did I not open this? Oh yeah, I swatched it. I was about to say, oh, that looks so pretty. 
That is gorgeous. Okay, but we're going to, how am I putting this on my face? I feel like I want to just kind of swirl. Can we do that? Swirl my brush. Pinch first. That's still a lot coming off. Oh, that is gorgeous. Look at that. That just looks so healthy. And then when I line my lips, that is going to look so good. Okay, what do we have? Bronzer. I'm going to see. I think this is too light. But we're going to see if we can make it. I just want to powder a little tiny bit. Let's see if that does anything at all, which I feel like it kind of is. And I'm going to take that powder brush that I set and just clean up under here a tiny tiny bit I don't like a super defined line but it's getting a little bit muddy just right there kind of clean that up so so far we're looking good for lips I don't think this is going to be dark enough but this is the only new lip liner I have this is the flower beauty Perfect Pout Sculpting Lip Liner in Toffee. Let's see if this actually does. Okay. That is not for today, but I do feel like if I was looking for a My Lips But Better, I'm going to keep that and put her in my purse because she looks like she would be perfect for that. I'm gonna go with this Anastasia Beverly Hills Malt Liner. It's just right here on my desk. And then for my lipstick, I wanna see if this is gonna work. I think it's gonna be too cool tone though. This is the About Face Paint It Matte Lip Color. This is in the shade Slumber. I feel like I remember this is very cool toned. Oh yeah, this is giving like, Can you even see that? Oh, here we go. <laughs> it is very cool toned. But I remember picking this up because I was like, I'm tired of picking up the same type of shades all the time. I'm going to try this Colored Rain Lip Liner in the shade The Buzz. I think it's a little more red. Just to help blend that. Oh, we Okay, no, we need something red. <laughs> Let's go with this Estee Lauder. Oh, she needs to be sharpened. Can I make it work? If you like super cool toned lip that shade is going to be gorgeous for you and i'm doing a cool tone look i mean i think it goes but here's our kicker i have not used this yet this is the fenty beauty holographic lip gloss gloss bomb crystal is that the name of it hologram of course i want to put this on so bad it's a gloss it's fine and let's just see because i remember swatching this and being like oh my god See that just warm this back up. Yes. Now see that helped save it. Okay, I'm gonna do my eyebrows off camera. I don't have a new eyeliner, so I'm gonna do that too. And then I have some magnetic lashes and that's gonna be it for the look. I'm gonna put the magnetic lashes on, at least one of them on camera though, so you can see it. Okay, so did my bottom lash line i put the darkest shade here on my bottom lash line and that's it with some mascara and then i went back in and i tried to deepen up this outer v <laughs> i know makeup always tends to look better once you have everything put together initially when i was putting that eyeshadow on i was like mm -mm. and now looking at this i'm like you know this doesn't look too bad so we're gonna see 
what this palette offers. These are two sets of magnetic lashes. It does say that you can trim these and there are several small magnets on it. Um, do I need to trim it? Mm, I don't think so. So I'm just gonna do one and I'm gonna use their liner and see how this looks. Oh, I shouldn't have wore liner already, but. And I usually put two layers of this just to make sure it'll stay. This feels really dry though. Like I can see obviously it's doing something cause I didn't have anything in this inner corner, but trying to put it here on the outside, it feels really, really dry. I can't really tell if it's going on. Okay, that's stuck on better than I expected, just because of how dry it is. That feels long, but like it's super wispy. I can literally feel that touching my inner. Like I probably need to, we're gonna move this. <laughs> Let me put some more liner on and I'm gonna move it out a little bit so it's not literally touching the inside of my nose. And then I'll come back and give you guys my final thoughts. All right, guys, so this is it for the final look. You know, this happens so often and this one, <laughs> this is what makes it hard for me to disclutter makeup because the whole time I was doing my eyes, I was like, this palette is trash. I hate it. And now I'm like, I like how my eyes looked. And yeah, we might have to keep this palette. I was gonna keep it anyway, to be honest, but I don't think I would have recommended it. And now I'm like, you know, I kind of like this palette. So the, I will say this liner, trash ended up having to use another one and i did have to trim the lashes but there's so many little anchors that these actually work really really well so i like these i'm gonna rewear them i love how my face looks i'm not gonna spray it because i don't think i need to but i just feel like everything played well together i'm glad i fixed that foundation shade because even now it still looks a little light but i think it matches so that is it for this look. Tell me what you guys think about the complexion. Do you love it? Anything that you saw me put on that you were like, man, I don't know. To be honest, this um, face sculpting palette from Ace Beauté, the swatches, almost got it put in the trash. But putting it on my face, I like it. I actually like it. I don't think this bronzer did much for me, so... I don't know what I'm gonna do with it because it definitely isn't gonna go in my crease. I just think it's too close to my skin tone. And if I ever get some sun, it's really not gonna work. So I honestly am probably gonna declutter it because I would say I'm gonna use it for a face powder, but I have face powder. So I don't know. Everything else, I absolutely loved it. Comment below, tell me what you guys think. What was your favorite product? And I can't wait to hear from you. If you're new, I hope you hit that subscribe button. Join our little family and I will see you in the next video. Bye.